Peace, peace, my peaceful people. What's good, folks? <coughs> Bear with me just a second. Yeah, so it's been a minute. I figured I needed to do something about the atmosphere, ambiance. Etc. You know, slowly slow it down a little bit, get into some Tehuti. Yeah. So, <clears throat> peace, y'all. I know it's been a minute for me posting, and I'm certain you guys will forgive me for that. <clears throat> I had a good reason for my absence, right? So, you know, a couple months ago, and uh, I uh, did my readings. I realized that what was in front of me and probably what was going on at that time was spell work. I had a couple little episodes, a couple things that happened that uh, turned out to kind of actually bless me uh, where they were supposed to hurt me. Um, yeah, so, you know, uh, I said, uh, yeah, they expected me to, you know, to do my thing, but let me not give them what they expect, right? The spell workers, man. Spell workers is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Right, but I say, you know, let me let me go ahead and let them think that they doing what they wanted to do, right? Let me let them think that is working, right? So I, you know, I actually was gonna stay out for three months, but spirit told me to get back in the game. I can't, couldn't really do it that long, but you know. So you know, yeah, you know, I got a setback I yo. I'm a little bit of a troll at times. You know what I mean? Especially when it's about spell workers and. Goofy niggas like that. But yeah. So, um, yo, we back. No spell worker can defeat me. They try. They've been trying for at least three years. And last year they really tried intensely. But y'all saw, you know, I, I, yeah, yeah, I do my thing and I stay strong. All right. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I come here and talk to y'all, because, uh, you know, people need to know how to do their thing, you know what I mean? People need to know how to, you know, heal, you know what I'm saying? When life is coming at you with the harm, you know, life is coming at you with your harm, with the harm if, you know, there's, there's plenty of circumstances. There's like, um, you know, jealousy is real out here, and... You know, I hate to be the one to, to come like, oh, yeah, they're jealous, you know what I mean? Because it makes you look conceited. But it is what it is. I mean, you know, I have, you know, number one was my ex. Total jealous person, you know what I mean? This is a spell worker. This individual turned out to be a coven witch. And, you know, let me let you know, you know, your oracles are only as good as the questions that you ask. So, you know, there's certain things about people's involvement that you got to ask <laughs> this is my lesson you know what i'm saying you know you got to ask what people is into you got to ask you know you know if you see someone's io you know and it you know maybe slightly a little negative or whatever you know you know it's, you know, it's not about prejudging right you don't prejudge when you look at that io but you kind of take into account and you know watch who you giving the benefit to the doubt of the doubt to you know, you see someone with a questionable, questionable I.O. that says they, they could be a crook. If they are not directly in a spiritual cultivation uh, program of some sort, group of some sort, heavy, you know, then you probably want to stay away from them. Because they got lessons. They got, they got you know, you're going to need to heal. Getting around with them. You know what I'm saying? Um... You know what I mean? You know, but yeah, I, I, me, myself, I tried to deal with things in a compassionate way. You know what I mean? Trying to bring heal to the situation. But as sometimes, you know, you just got to realize that you can't do it. You can't, it's not on you to heal. If you tried and it didn't work, well, it's not on you to heal that. And, you know, then you got to have, employ your cutoff game. So, yeah, in my situation, I cut off a narcissist who can't believe she got cut off. And so, 
she continues to throw spells and crap at me. And, you know, where it's not her, it's the coven group that she put on go with it. Right? So the coven group is in the background saying, there, you know, back, he's doing his thing again. You know what I mean? And they're probably crashing their windows, throwing bottles inside their cribs just because I'm back. <laughs> well, you know, I got my peaceful people here, so as long as I got my peaceful people here, then, you know what I mean, the comics and the corny people in the background, they have no consequence. So, that being said, <clears throat> we're going to get into some readings. Matarus, Sun Moon, Rising, North Nodian Folk. What it look like? This is your May cycle focus reading. Alright, so let's go back to the year. How we do, how we do. Go back to see what we have said for the Taurus. What we said was Tehuti Tem Chas, Tehuti Two Chas. Ten into the sixty one. Right. So we said, you know, intuitions, right? Um, you know, wise decisions, things like this, right? How we are conducting ourselves, right? Are we living truth? Are we dealing with the inner truth about the situation? Conducting ourselves well or not? Magician, will of fortune in reverse, Tehuti Tem, negative decisions, doing things, something is Tehuti Tem that we're doing, right? Tehuti is on the table, we know this, that is Tem, that is negative. 61, inner truth is on the circumstance, right? Yeah, okay, this is for the year, right? Now, that we got the little general overview, let's go into it for the cycle. Okay, so we know that we're supposed to be dealing with making the right choices. Learning to make the right choices. Right? <clears throat> Get up to my eye. Sorry, my tem, my hot. Gab two, my tem. All right, 51 into the 16, first line. <clears throat> okay. Let's be fair to work.
perfect shuffle, y'all. Check that out. Perfect shuffle. But I only have to pull because out pops in reverse. King of Pentacles. Oh, no. Too many cards. Too many cards. Matter of fact, I'm going to put that King of Pentacles back. Now, if it's relevant, it'll come back out. But that was too many cards. I don't take that many cards. I thought it was two cards that jumped out. That would have been perfect. But nah, nah, nah. Sometimes it ain't as pretty as we want it to be. Interesting. So I'm going to say that that Ten of Pentacles was relevant because now it is the Ten of, um, actually, it was the King of Pentacles in reverse. Now it's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm going to say that was relevant, that King of Pentacles. And let's take them. We're going to say King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Death in the reverse, Ace of Wands, and Justice. Alright, alright, mouthful, let's, let's, let's do this here, we said the king of peas in the R, right, and then we said the ten of peas in the R, now it's almost like you can either take it as the king or take it as the pen, uh, the ten, you know, would the, if I had kept going from the King would the ten been the next to come out? Who knows? I said let's scrap the king and the ten came out. So it says king and ten are pretty much the same. These are very similar in terms of what they talk about. So I'm looking at them as the same. All right. <clears throat> Death in the reverse. So something a cycle is ended, a transition is made, but it's reversed. Something dies, but reversed. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Okay. Perhaps hmm, justice at the bottom. All right. Okay. So at the okay in my odd term, right? Justice at the bottom. Right. Anyway. All right. So we got Geb to my eye. Ma'at 10. Okay. So this, we're in a couple of realms here. Either we're in the realm of money or we're in the realm of the physical body. Okay. So if we're speaking about the physical body, Geb, then we're saying that we're not dealing with the laws cons or we're dealing incorrectly Regarding the laws of the physical body or some aspect of the physical body. Are you eating right? Are you sleeping right? Are you getting your nourishment? Are you depleting your life force? Uh, are you, you know, things like that. Are you drugging? Whatever you're doing, right? You're going against the laws of get or your physical body, right? Now, on another level, it could be your money, right? Geb ma'at tem. Okay, so there's this is lack of abundance. Is you know abundance is or uh, Geb is in the area, but there's a lack of abundance coming to you. Perhaps this is karma has to do with what you have been doing based you know what you getting based on what you have been doing. Fifty one, the first line. That's the laughing words. That's when you know ha 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 ha. Okay, like. It's tense. It looks tense. It's like, oh man, I don't know. It's like darkness at the corner, and then you get to the corner, and a little kid jumps out, and it's like, ha 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 ha. Okay, it would have surprised you. It would have been surprising. It would have been shocking, but it was just a little kid. Okay, so something was shocking, but it doesn't turn out so shocking. 
And then perhaps there's a loss of enthusiasm based upon that circumstance, right? You're losing, you know, maybe you're finally, you know, <laughs> maybe you was trying to do something and you finally give it up. I don't know. Maybe um, you just lose your enthusiasm or something. Or someone who knows right but yeah there is uh some pentacle loss here there is a cycle which is not completing you know due to a lack of uh conviction you know someone is not really about it ace of wands in reverse right that's energy in reverse Alright so yeah Someone you know There's a loss here of something It's a loss There's, there's a loss here it's, You know my atem is big Lack of abundance Alright King of pentacles is lack of Is losing abundance Ten of are the reverse Ten of pentacles in the reverse is losing abundance Ace of wands in the reverse Can be losing Currency, energy, justice at the bottom. Right, so some aspect of all of this is karmic. Right, some aspect of whatever you're dealing with is something that you brought up through your conduct. All right, and uh, okay, so you need to go to Maat. Right, you need to go straight to the Maat mantra. Right, get some sleep first. Get some sleep, maybe fast. <laughs> fast, then wake up at the crack of dawn on Thursday and chant to Ma'at, Om Shireen, right? And let your downloads come. Let heaven bless you with some, you know, with some good instructions on how to be. Okay? But yes, that is it. All right? Turns. Alright, so, um, yeah, you know we gonna do this next cycle. Y'all know I be trolling, you know what I mean? I was just trolling some of y'all. <laughs> Alright, but don't be too disappointed. I'm back. Alright, peace and love. We gonna do this again. Love y'all.